Seen plenty of campus chaos across the country and right here in Connecticut, but it is a different scene at Wesleyan University in Middletown. Yes, yeah, students are protesting and camping out, but the school there is taking a different approach on how to handle all this. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Dylan Fearon is live on the campus right now with the latest tonight. Dylan. Well, Mark and Aaron, as we've seen at other schools in Connecticut, like UConn and Yale, students being arrested, police clearing out the student encampments, things are different here at Wesleyan. The university is saying although students are violating school policy, as long as things remain peaceful, the students will be allowed to keep the encampment as long as they choose. Students created this Sunday, starting with about 20 tents. That's now quadrupled to 80, and things have been peaceful. The school president says Wesleyan will not tolerate student intimidation or harassment, but Mark and Aaron, we've also seen faculty showing support today. There were several professors here rallying at the encampment. One professor even taught her class by the tents today. And students have been clear with their message. They want Wesleyan to disclose its financial investments, to be transparent with students if the university is investing in military weapons manufacturers. If Wesleyan did not have investments in these companies, there would be a very easy solution to this. They would be able to look at those investments. They would be able to come to us and tell us, hey, we do not have these investments. But the fact that they are being so reluctant, that the, fa the fact that they are being so kind of opaque about this kind of tells us what we need to know. So Mark and Aaron, the big question is how long will students remain with this encampment? A couple of them told me as long as it takes, as long as uh, until their demands are met. We also know commencement is on May 26th. Finals week starts very soon, Mark and Aaron, but students say they will be here as long as they need to. We're live in Middletown tonight. I'm Dylan Fear in Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Dylan, thank you.